Imagine you imagining that you love me and starting on a family tree. Imagine starting on a family tree. The mama is you and the papa is me. If your heart goes bump a deep bump, it's love, love, love. If your throat comes up with a lump, it's love, love, love. If your knees go knock a dee knock, it's love, love, love. If you cuckoo like the cuckoo in the clock. 
It's love, love, love. On top of the mat, if your heart goes bump a bump It's love, love, love. If your throat comes up with a lump. It's love, love, love. If your knees go knockety-knock. It's love, love, love. If you cuckoo like the cuckoo in the clock. It's love, love, love. and lots about towns and cities from all over, along with the latest fashion advice. 
Today, I'm in Denver, Colorado, and buckle up because I've got a lot to share about this lovely city. Denver is one of the few cities in the country that wasn't built on a road, railroad, lake, or navigable body of water. So, why is there a city here at all? Gold. Denver was founded by General William Larimar as Denver City in November 1858. It began as a mining town during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush. Denver's nickname is the Mile High City because it sits at an elevation of exactly one mile or 5,280 feet. In fact, there is a step on the state capitol building that is exactly 5,280 feet above sea level. But, despite being a mile above the ocean, and contrary to popular belief, Denver is not within the Rocky Mountains. Instead, it's near them, lying at the base of the mountain range. In fact, it was built on the high plains and is one of the flattest cities in America. For now, this is Mary Hampton, signing off. Klondike bringing you a war report from the civilian radio network's Egyptian outpost. And now, some war news. Three more air attacks on Japanese bases in the Aleutians and another on Munda and the Solomon Islands were announced by the Navy. 
Two of the Aleutian attacks were made on Kiska, and the third on Atu Island. These recent attacks increased the number of raids made on Kiska since March to 32. The Axis is desperately flying fresh troops into Tunisia, and the Allies have thrown a mighty overpowering aerial fleet into a campaign to forestall such reinforcements and wipe the enemy from Africa. The presence of airborne reinforcements for Marshal Erwin Rommel's hard-pressed troops was revealed with the capture of more than 700 Italian and German grenadiers during a renewed American push east of El Guitar toward the coast. From Bern, Switzerland, marauding Allied airmen sweeping by daylight throughout France to blast freight and passenger trains with bombs and cannon fire are slowly but steadily paralyzing the nation's railway system. A high official of the French railroads told a correspondent of the Gazette de la Sonne that at least five or six locomotives are being smashed daily by the Allied train busters and by saboteurs. And that's the latest war news. From Egypt, this is Walter Klondike signing off. adorable it's deplorable that you were never there when little lips are so kissable it's permissible for me to ask my share next to my heart it is ever so lonely I'm holding on my air while here in my arms it's adorable it's deplorable that you were never there September rain, just 
listeners, this is On the Road and Off the Rack with fashion correspondent Mary Hampton. Here are some fresh fashion advice from Denver, Colorado. Snacks today are more important in national wartime life than they have ever been. That is unquestionable. But as a substitute for the skirt and a normal way of life? No, positively no. I understand your previous fashion correspondent, Ms. Hannah Bourbon, may be in support of snacks. She called them the wave of the future, but I stand firm against them. Snacks are completely in normal social settings, and I predict will remain that way after the war. So before you rush down and place a good corner of your summer clothes budget on snacks, make certain that you really need them. But if you are a woman working in a defense job, which women are undoubtedly taking over, the practical slack is part of the uniform. There are hundreds of styles being made with a variety of fabrics. What you pack for your job depends upon what you do and what your firm asks of you. And it is you who wears pants, who has given them the greatest dignity and universal approval that they have ever had. And before you start calling yours truly old-fashioned, I fully embrace where slacks land in the world of fashion. Uh, Indeed, besides defense work, there are two other settings I believe slacks are appropriate for. One is for sport, whether that be hiking, gardening, housekeeping, or just spending time outdoors in a recreational setting. Second is to wear slacks for lounging. And indeed, many women who work in defense plants and wear slacks by day become so accustomed to that great freedom of pants that they hate to change out of them. In the right places, the slack is a dashing symbol of modern dressing, but the jury is still out on where they land in town and dressy settings. Until later, this is Mary Hampton signing off.
divide cool season ornamental grasses when new growth begins to emerge. Use organic mulches such as wood chips or bark to retain soil moisture around shrubs and trees. Plant warm season vegetables and annual flowers once the threat of the last frost has passed. See average first and last frost dates. Consider planting sweet corn in the garden every other week to extend the harvest. Protect fruit blossoms and tender garden plants from late freezing temperatures. See critical temperatures for frost damage in fruit. Allow the foliage of spring blooming bulbs, tulips, daffodils, and crocus to die down before cutting the leaves off and plant summer blooming bulbs including gladiola, begonia, dahlia, and canna. And that was Millie Fern, Master Gardener. We now return to our musical programming. Here's Mo Harvey Pete talking to you from my little office at the Green Valley Depot. And it's time for a little country music here on Green Valley Radio. So sit back in your rocking chair and tune in to the best country music of the day. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Yippee! As I go riding merrily along, ride along, and they sing, Oh, ain't you glad you're single? Yippee! And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, Lily Bell, oh, Lily Bell, Lily Bell. Oh, I may have done some fooling, this is why I never fell. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Yippee! As I go riding merrily along. Right along, and they sing, Oh, ain't you glad you're single? Yippee! And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Oh, 
Mary Ann, oh Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Though we done some moonlight walking, this is why I ups and ran. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, yippee As I go riding merrily along, right along. And they sing, oh ain't you glad you're single, yippee And that song ain't so very far from wrong, yippee That jingle, jangle, jingle, that jingle, as I go riding merrily, as I go riding merrily, and they sing, oh, ain't you glad they sing, oh, ain't you glad and that song ain't so very far from wrong, ain't so very far Bessie Lou, oh, Bessie Lou, though we done a heap of dreaming, this is why it won't come true. I got spurs, that jingle, I got spurs. That jingle as I go riding merrily, as I go riding merrily, and they sing, oh ain't you glad you're single, oh ain't you glad and that song ain't so very far from that song ain't so very far from wrong, so I'll jingle on alone. Oh, Harvey Pete here at the Green Valley Depot. I hope everyone's having a fantabulous day. Remember, our depot office sends and receives mail and telegrams, in addition to our tickets for the Green Valley Line. Hello, Marvy. Well, howdy, Miss Fern. What brings you by the depot today? Do you have any telegrams? I'm sorry to say we don't have any telegrams for you. Well, that is unfortunate. If you don't mind me asking, Miss Fern... You come in here nearly every day asking if we have any telegrams for you. And unless it was the day I stayed home with the cold, I don't think we've had anything waiting for you. Who are you waiting to get a telegram from? I don't mind you asking, Mojave. I'm waiting to hear from my fiancé. He's serving overseas on Midway Island. My golly, I had no idea. Well, as always, we'll keep an eye out for anything with your name on it. I appreciate your vigilance and due diligence. We'll see you next time, Miss Fern. Gosh darn it. I keep leaving this radio on. She gave her heart to a soldier boy And he now plays a hero's part if you can't take his place in a uniform, then you can't take his place in her heart. She may dance with you and romance with you, but to one she will always be true. She gave her heart to a soldier boy, and she won't give her heart to you. Who's that girly over there with the ribbons in her hair? Looking sweet, looking sad, looking blue. Tell me, buddy, would you care if her friendship you could share? Have a care what you say if you do. She gave her heart to a soldier boy, and he now plays a hero's part. If you can take his place in a uniform, then you can take his place in her heart. She may dance with you and romance with you, but to one she will always be true. She gave her heart to a soldier boy, and she won't give her heart to you.
a soldier boy And he now plays a hero's part If you can take his place in a uniform Then you can take his place in her heart She may dance with you and romance with you But to one she will always be true She gave her heart to a soldier boy And she won't give her heart to you This here is Mojave Pete saying thanks for listening to the country music segment on Green Valley Radio. We're coming to a close on today's country music segment, but that don't mean you need to take off your Stetson hat or put away your spurs, because we'll be back again soon with more of the best country music of the day. Until then, let's get back to that city slicker music Catalina Jack likes playing. the plains down near Santa Fe. I met a cowboy riding the range one day and as he jogged along I heard him singing a most peculiar cowboy song. It was a ditty he learned in the city. Come on to I, come on to yippee Get along. Get hip, little dog. Get along. Better be on your way. Get along. Get hip, little doggy. And he trucked him on down that old fair way, singing his cow cow boogie in the strangest way. Coming to ya ya ye, coming to yip till ya ye. Singing his cowboy songs, he's just too much. He's got a knocked out western accent with a hard touch. He was raised on local. He's what you call the swing half-breed Singing his cow-cow boogie In the strangest way Come on the ay Come on the yippee ay That cat was raised on loco weed. Jackie's what you call a swing half breed. Singing his cow cow boogie in the strangest way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get, get, get along, little doggy. Better be on your way. Jack here with some of the latest news. Radio repair went on a tube-for-tube and pot-for-pot basis. A war production board order, effective immediately, requires that an old pot be turned in when a new one is bought or installed by a repairman. Accepted from the regulation are rural... Accepted from the regulation are rural residents who can buy only by mail. Anyone who has lost the pot to be replaced also can obtain a new one by certifying that the replacement is essential. Dealers must take used pots to the scrap heaps or salvage stations within 60 days after receiving them. The War Manpower Commission is studying a possibility of putting the entire country on a 48-hour work week, but is still far from a decision. Thus far, the 48-hour work week has been ordered only for 39 areas where labor is short and for three industries on a nationwide basis. Those are industries focused on steel and non-ferrous metal mining. 
The majority of business concerns are bound by law or by labor agreements to pay time and one-half wages for all work in excess of 40 hours. Principal exceptions are local trade and service firms. The War Manpower Commission officials told reporters that whether a nationwide 48-hour workweek would be ordered would depend largely upon the number of exemptions that would be provided. And that's the news. We now return to our musical programming.
Klondike here with a World War Report. From London, Reuters reported in a Zurich dispatch that Premier Mussolini was understood to be preparing to evacuate from his government in Rome. The dispatch said Mussolini was reported to have appointed secret commissions to make the necessary arrangements. Florence and Bologna have been mentioned as likely places for the new seat of government. The Navy disclosed that 342 American soldiers gave their lives in the conquest of Atu against Japanese losses five times as great. Secretary Knox added that landing operations were accomplished without loss of a single ship or of any naval personnel. Kiska is the main enemy base in the Aleutian Islands, and there has been speculation that attempts will be made to clear the Japanese from there now that Atu Island has been retaken. The Rome radio broadcast reported that a large British force is concentrating along the southern frontier of Turkey, after previously telling its listeners of many landing craft concentrating from African coasts towards Pantelleria. There was no confirmation from Allied quarters, and none of course was expected even if this report was true. From the civilian radio network's Egyptian outpost, this is Walter Klondike signing off. stamps and bonds? Yes, they can, and millions of children are buying them regularly as their share in the National Savings Program. And another question for you, will the government accept a personal check and payment for a bond? Why, yes, this is subject to successful collection from your financial institution. And remember, the longer you keep your war bonds up to 10 years' time, the more valuable they become. So don't wait. Get your war-saving bonds today.
Mary Hampton here at Denver's Brown Palace Hotel, settling down after quite an adventurous day. As I lay out my sleeping clothes, I realize I haven't discussed the world of pajamas in quite some time. So here is a fashionable update for you. The lounging pajama has returned to popular use, with even greater bang than most fashion magazines and retail stores are catching on. But a few far-sighted designers sent this request by the public and have begun a new fashion that is the best yet. That is the long, lounging coat, which drapes almost to the knees. It is designed to be worn over pajamas. The reason for the peculiar swing toward pajamas is only half due to their casual comfort. The other half is that the feminine world is getting used to wearing pants at work. And when they come home, they are loath to get into a skirt in which they can't kick out their legs freely. Even if you are one who reviles women in trousers, somewhere deep in your subconscious is a new interest in pajamas. And if you have longed to be the carefree modern woman in trousers and your figure has said no, here is your winter answer. Give your suppressed desire the treat of its life and have a lounging pajama with this new long gracious coat. Until next time, this is Mary Hampton signing off and saying ta-ta for now. Los Angeles. 
District Attorney Hauser of Los Angeles County declared that a state of near anarchy exists in and around Los Angeles as police and sheriff reserves armed for riots deployed throughout the metropolitan area in an effort to damp the tide of antagonism which has embroiled servicemen and zoot suiters into bloody battles. Hauser claims that the situation has been created by the growth of gang life in the community. Locals say it's just individual expressionism. As it is, angry crowds, including many civilians, are searching for zoot suit garb youths considered dangerous to the community. That is the news for now. This is Catalina Jack, signing off.